You know, I walked up to the building and I see how large it is and I'm constantly looking up like, oh man, that's kind of scary, right? But I had heard that uh, you haven't lived until you've overcome your fears. This is one of the largest murals to ever go up in Sacramento. This was not only an artistic challenge, but also a, uh, you had to overcome any fear of heights, which I think Definitely you had a little. Challenge, yeah. <laughs> so heights have always been uh, one of my greatest fears. So it wasn't just an opportunity to paint a mural, it was an opportunity to grow as a person. My name is uh, Demetrius Washington also go by BAMR. BAMR is a, an acronym most people don't know, but it stands for Becoming a Man Righteously. I started really low at the bottom of the apple, uh, just because I knew that I would be able to get used to going up higher and higher. A lot of people were ex extremely curious about what exactly this was and what was going up. Higher up I went, I could hear less and less what the people were saying. It was more so just me focused exactly on the wall and the, not too much else. So I didn't really get to hear what people were saying as I was up there, but I did see crowds forming at the bottom. People were just kind of watching and enjoying the work. The thing about public art is everyone owns it. There's definitely a really big guessing game as I was painting it. Some were encouraging, some were challenging to say the least. I don't think most people know what it means the first time they see it, um, but that's okay, you know, if it gets people talking about where does health happen, how does it really happen. I think the biggest challenge for doing the shading and everything was actually operating the machine and still keeping my mind on the artwork. As I was uh, finishing up with the pomegranate, uh, there was one really scary moment when uh, I had the speed turned up on the machine when I was going down. And so as I was going down, I kind of lifted up off my feet for a brief second. And I'm just like, oh man, holding on tight. It calls for a lot of growth, both mentally, physically, and even spiritually, I would say, you know? Just kind of keeping faith that I won't fall off the machine. The size and scale of the pen drops that Denitris has uh, illustrated underscores the size and scale of the campaign and the programs of Health Happens Here. Health for All is a strong value statement at a time when, as a society, we're still debating Obamacare, even as it's expanding health uh, care to millions of people. And it's like by the time I got to the top of the apple, it didn't seem so high at all. And then I moved up to the soccer ball and it seemed even shorter just because I had already gotten used to the height of the apple. And finally on up to the orange, which was the highest point. And even though I spent only two days on the orange, it, it seemed like I spent about a week or two weeks on the orange, you know, just because of how high it up it was. I think that was more of my mind playing tricks on me. It's one artist to another, I don't know how he did it. <laughs> and the mural is prompting, we think, a very healthy conversation about, um, you know, is healthcare a right or a privilege? Some people have it and others not. Should your wealth dependent determine your health or um, is it you know, more of a basic human right? I think it's, it's definitely getting people to ask the question. Um, what does health happens here mean? It's not just happening in a hospital, it's actually happening where you live, uh, where you go to school. Amplifying the voice of a community is one of the ways in which you build a healthier community. I'm an artist on a journey and I just completed this large scale mural.